Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And today, I have another new little thing that I want to have you join in on. I think everybody knows on this channel how much a fan I am of Lenovo hardware, and I just got a little Lenovo laptop. That's not a laptop, it's a desktop. A Lenovo desktop, and it's, um, well, this is my Lenovo laptop, and this is my Lenovo desktop. So the, they're roughly the same size. This one is uh, more heavy. It does have a metal case and stuff, but well, I didn't really have the right stuff to plug this right in. So I had to order some things in China and they have arrived. So we're gonna have a look at this little box before I put it up and replace my regular PC, which I think we will just turn the camera around and see. Here it is. This is my HP desktop, small form factor, and it's an HP Compact DL 7900. And it has a, right now it has the Q6600, which with the Ninja mod, well, I've just prepared, I want to do a speed test for the two. So we're just gonna test all of this. Yes, you may run. So it's gonna be testing how fast this machine is. But in the meanwhile, we might as well go and see uh, what's inside the new one. Um, I must say these are rather expensive. This is not a cheap machine in any way. I will, I don't have the right prices right here, but I'll put them in the description and you can see this is not, this is not some cheapo stuff. You actually have to pay real money for these. On the front, it has an on off button right there. It has a USB 3 port right there. It has a microphone and it has a headset uh, connection phone plugs and it has this is also a USB 3 connection but this one uh, has the charging feature which means that even though the machine is not on you can still charge your phone on this plug which is different from this plug because this one will have no power when the little computer is off um, it has a nice Lenovo brand right there thank you very much also, it says that this is a Core i3 processor inside of it. Uh, some Energy Star something. And this one is security marked. On the back, this comes with Windows 8 Professional. And it's the Lenovo Think Center M93. This one is already a bit outdated. It's not the newest one. And it's the Type 10A5 and that's uh, something about the processor inside of it which i have totally forgotten what it is so but we might have a look at that a little bit later or in the next video because i'm actually gonna try and upgrade the processor in this but first i'm gonna i'm gonna try it with the stock processor and compare it with the computer that i am already running just to make sure that i don't actually go down in performance by changing out the PC. But my um, evil plan was to open this up and see what's inside. But also, oh, we didn't even see the back, did we? No, we didn't. It comes with a power plug right there. And that's the same plug as the laptops use. So you can actually take your power supply. This is, it's almost a laptop power supply. They are more or less the same. And this one is, Oh, how many watts? It says it's a 73.28 watt hour. I don't know if that's if that's the number I was looking for. I was hoping that it was just say how many watts this was at. It's a tiny little ah, tiny little power supply. Could actually just roll up the wire here for good filming purposes. Here we are. One power supply. And this little plug is the magic Lenovo plug that goes in one way and you can take it out and put it in the other way as well. So they have um, learned something from Apple there. I think most of the brands have started to do this kind of thing. Also with the new USB connections, which this one does not have, you can also turn them around with a USB-C. That was the power plug. Then we have this screen. This is a display port. There is one display port here and there's another display port here. 
it also has the older VGA connection right there but of course the display port is the thing to be using nowadays and it has two more USB 3 connections here and one over there it has a one gigabit ethernet connection here and it has a Kingston King Kingston lock right there there is something here to uh, mount the cable I do believe that it's this cable uh, that can go that way somehow and be locked in place here and it might be when this little computer is in a case you might have noticed there is no cd-rom drive or anything so the cd-rom drive is an extra little box that you can get and mount on top of it i do not have that and i do not believe that i'm gonna be needing that for right now or and if i do i do have an external cd-rom drive that i could plug in one of the USB connections. There's a hole here. You can actually put in a wireless network card. This one does not come with it. I think um, this is the M93 model and I do think the M93P will come with the wireless network card and an antenna sticking up here. I think that's about the plugs on the back. Yeah. The power supply, they have this, I call it the Mickey Mouse connector. So. You plug that in and here we have these connections and these are on an angle so these are for for computer use the round one is for your vacuum cleaner and oh, can you see that they that's how that works but what did i get in china well i must admit i don't really have a screen that has these display port connectors so i needed something to convert that so first i got a display ports to DVI connectors right here so I might try that out but I also went ahead and got I actually got two of those and these are from well you can see them here this one is a display connector and this one is a regular HDMI Connector. So I'm going to be trying those out as well, seeing how that works with my monitor. But let's uh, let's go inside and see what they have hidden for us in there. On the back here, there is just one screw. So we are going to take a screwdriver and it's a normal Phillips head thingy. So we're just going to remove that. Didn't get one that fits very well here. So, okay, removing that. And the cover will slide right off. There we are. There is nothing really in here. There is apparently we have some LEDs out here. So they are getting light through these. There's the power on thing. And there is a transparent piece of plastic up here. Mm, it seems like that uh, this model might have been prepared for having a little display here. I haven't seen that in any of them, but that might be a thing. So this is the inside. It looks very much like a laptop, doesn't it? I think so. It has a sand disk. It's a 128 gigabyte SSD. So that's kind of cool. And we'll just unmount that because that's in the way of everything. So if we want to have a look downstairs, we need to just uh, Take that out of the way. There. Let's see, it goes out that way. There. Okay. And it's it's branded on the other side. And beneath it, here is the connector for that wireless LAN connector that can go out this way. There is one block of memory in here and this is only four gigabytes i really need a at least four gigabytes more but there is room for two uh, memory blocks just like this one it can take up to eight gigabyte blocks so the little computer can do a total of 16 gigabytes like that and bias battery a little bit of connectors plug up here Otherwise, there is not a lot of stuff. It's it's absolutely tiny things that are down here. 
Over here are the CPU, um, which I'm gonna be taking out in the next video. The CPU, which is down here. It's uh, kind of a weird stuff there. Transporting the heat from here and over there and then cooling it off through the fan there. It's a laptop in a desktop case. Well, not much, not much else is going on in here. There is not a lot of expansion possibilities. It is more or less what you see is what you get. You can of course exchange the hard drive if you need a bigger one. That wouldn't be very expensive, getting one that was two times or four times as big. I'm gonna try and start with this one. Um, and then if I, if I need to, I will expand it to something bigger along the way. We'll start here and um, move from there. So my computer over here uh, ended out with a score of 1252.1. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm not gonna share that exit. And let's just see the CPU uh, ended up at 36. That's not really good. I have seen it up at 4100, I think. But 36, well, for the video purposes, we're gonna just stick with that. Okay, let's shut it down. And this is Windows 10. Mm. Shut down. Okay, prepare a little bit over here. It's really tiny compared to the HP down here. So, well, there is a few years between them, that's for sure. Uh, this one is from 2014 and this one is from, I think, 2008, 2009, something like that. So, um, we have the power supply here and I'm gonna plug that in. And I have prepared enough so that the power connection is coming out here. So, now we have power on. And we have a green light right there. I haven't turned it on yet, but it's powered. Oh, I guess I have turned it on, sorry. And we have a, a screen connection. And I need to find out which one is the display port one. So we'll, I'll think we'll just plug it in this one and see what happens. Like that. We need the keyboard and the, and the mouse. Now I turn it off, I'll turn it on again. And I'll see if I can find the connection to the screen over here. Probably something with the import port. That one it might be HDMI, should be the right one. So we had it. That was too easy. Um, except the keyboard doesn't really seem to. Oh, there we are. Okay. And this little thing is running uh, Windows Server 2012 R2. Awesome! So it's a tiny little Windows Server. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep running that. I think, I think I'm good for doing this uh, video, maybe. I'll check if the test program is actually able to use Windows 2012 R2. Otherwise, I might have to install Windows 10 on it. Well, sometimes you just do something really stupid, like I wanted the test program down here, but I needed my Chrome thing up there. I wanted, I actually, I think I want Firefox as well. A lot of the Lenovo server things um, need to be using Java, and that doesn't work very well with Chrome and Internet Explorer anymore, so often Firefox is a good one. So I went on to this ninai.com and this computer wouldn't do it. It said security, blah, blah, can't open the page. And I messed around with, I couldn't get those security settings to let me through. Um, until I found out that I didn't really put in the network connection and um, well, that actually gave just the last little bit. So, um, well, a good network connection is, uh, well, it's not good for your internet security. <laughs> But uh, well, now I can download all this stuff and have uh, Nina install that on my machine here. And uh, while the computer is installing my software and I'm battling the mouse, uh, we could have a look at the processor in this thing. I just had a look at this. And this is an i3 4130T and it runs at 2.9 gigahertz. 
and there's 4 gigabytes of RAM, 64-bit operating system, and WinRAR is now installed. Uh, awesome. Filezilla is installed. I open the task manager and I can see here that it's a one socket CPU, it has two cores and four threads. So compared to the old CPU, which had four cores and hyperthreading, I'm actually going down in threads so and cores. So, but the cores are twice as fast. This one, I found the processor in the benchmark and it should perform about 4096 here which is about the same as the Q6600, which was in the old PC. I'm gonna see if it, how the rest of the machine performs compared. So the two CPUs should be just about the same. The difference is almost next to nothing, so that should be good. I have another processor here, which is an i3-4170, and that is down here and that scores 5,141. That should give me 1,050 benchmarking points more. But I will try that upgrade in the next video. Uh, I'm gonna start by seeing how this works out. Okay, seems like we are done installing. It has installed Firefox, Chrome, Silverlight, Java, Java 64-bit, WinRAR, FileZilla, TeamViewer, VNC, all the usual crap. Okay, the test program open, so I'm gonna be running all tests. This may take a while, okay. It might take a while, so I will pause the camera. Well, the results are in. We score one, oh, we score 2187, which is a lot better than I had anticipated. Just about the same here on the CPU. The total score is a bit better than the old machine. And there is something else that is amazing on this machine. Can you hear that? Well, almost neither can I. But if I press this one... That makes a noise. But, well, it's not that bad, really, but I didn't really know if this was on or off to start with. Uh, I did actually think that this green light was just to indicate that it was powered, but it was actually on. I just couldn't hear it, and I'm used to not having to look at the LED down here, which actually also says that this machine is on, because you can hear that this one is on. Well, that's enough for this video, I guess. I am gonna be changing out computers definitely. I have to move some of my files and stuff from this machine. I'm gonna move it up onto the network and move the essential parts down on the new machine. I don't keep very much stuff on my machine, but I just have a little bit that would be nice to move instead of copying it from somewhere else. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Please remember to give the videos a like. IT guys, we don't like as much as other people so I'm getting behind on the channel stats stuff because you guys don't like as much as everybody else likes. I should be making videos for 13 year old girls. They like anything and everything. <laughs> so, But thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe to my channel and have a really nice day. Bye bye.